hello guys uh, welcome to tech design in this uh, video i'm going to show you how we can make this uh, bottle using uh, surface modeling workbench so let's get started so for that i will go to the new file let me create a file click ok for this so this is our uh, work coordinate system so let us go to the sketcher environment i need to create one of the sketch so I'll go to sketcher environment and I'll take a line command let us make one of the line and the dimension should be this is 46 and between these two this center point it is 27 by 2 and with this two this it is 10 I want to make this point uh, should lie on x axis so press C for the constraints and should the point on curve should be active this point should be on x axis okay, now you can see sketch, sketch is fully constrained so finish this sketch and I want to revolve this so I'll go to revolve command select this curve and specify the vector and this is my point so you can see here this solid body is created so I, want, I need a sheet so I'll just create a sheet and click OK so as you can see here uh, the outer shell of the uh, bottle is ready now what I'll do is I'll just again go to the sketcher environment and I'll select this sketch click OK so I'll create one uh, profile here so this is from this point to this and I need an arc here okay now what I have to do is I will just uh, dimension these things so go to rapid dimensioning from this point to x-axis it is uh, 35 and from this point to this line it is 42 also uh, this uh, line is having some angle so let us give this angle with a y-axis that is 4 degree okay so you just uh, make sure that make sure that this is crossing this uh, line so what I will do is I'll just offset of this curve so let us go to offset curve so here is the offset so these two curves I just wanted to offset with 1 mm distance so it's already given I'll click OK. So I'll just finish the sketch. This is done. I want to offset this uh, surface. So let us go to surface and uh, offset surface. So I'll just select this and uh, it's 1 mm with the inside. So I'll just do inside reverse direction. So it will take reverse. Now, what I have to do is I have to project these two curves on these two. Uh, surfaces so what I will do is uh, go to curve and project curve so in that I will just uh, select these two curves these two curves should be projected on the outer surface and these two should be projected on inner surface so I will just uh, select the inner surface and this is the direction so let us give this direction <coughs> so you can see here there is an option called project both sides you can just select the project on both sides and uh, here as well as on the other side it will be projected so now what i will do is i will just make this uh, projection so let us go to project curve again and these two curves now and the object should be inside cylinder now the vector is this again we have to make it as a both side and click ok so now you can see here uh, uh, there are uh, two curves that are projected on the 
two different surfaces so i just i don't need these uh, sketches now just i'll just hide these sketches okay in order to uh, avoid the confusions so now i have to trim the sheets so for that i'll just, just go to surface and trim sheet so i'll select this this should be kept and this should be removed so i have selected the keeping surface so boundary should be this now click ok it will be trimmed now we have to trim the inside surface so for that i'll just go to trim sheet again and i'll select this and uh, select this curve click ok now as now you can see this is completely trimmed uh, properly so what i have to do is i have to fill this to fill this uh, i'm going to use a through curves command so select a through curves command and uh, here is a single curve is selected now what i will do is i'll just uh, select this and click on middle button and select this so as you can see here the sheet is generated i click apply let us make it sheet and click apply now i will go to three through curves again I will select this and this so you can see here uh, the sheet is generated click apply and again make the same thing on this as well click ok so now as you can see here it is completely filled we have some features left on the top of the bottle so let us start doing this what I will do is I will just extrude this uh, outer edge. So go to extrude command and uh, extrude this uh, 4 mm. And make it as a sheet. Click OK. OK, perfect. Now, one of we have one more sketch on the top. So let's go to the environment and select this plane. Click OK. So now what I will do is I will just uh, take an arc. So this is an arc uh, which starts here, three point arc. And also I need a, so first of all let us go to constraint. And this point should lie on this axis. And let us draw a line which is in a reference line. So let us make it as a reference, convert to reference and I want to make this tangent so press C for the tangents here for the constraints. So here is the tangency, these two should be tangent to each other and distance I am just going to give this as 13.5. and from this line to the bottom it is 54 this it is 54 and between this to this it is 4 okay now what I'll do is I'll just finish the sketch and I have to revolve this. So go to revolve command and select this now and the vector is this and the point should be this. Okay, it's taken a different point. So let us see. Now what I'll do is I'll just make it as a sheet and click OK. So now as you can see here, uh, the top portion is filled. Now what I have to do is uh, I have to create a uh, circle here. So let us go to Sketcher Environment again. So I'll select this plane, click OK. There is a um, circle needed. So this circle with a diameter of 10 mm. Click finish. Now let us extrude this uh, 
up to 57 where is the extrude and I'm going to select it here this should be sheet this is 57 okay now we can click ok and suppose if you, I want to trim the sheets here so I'll just go to trim here is a trim sheet so I'm going to select the inside it should be discarded using this click apply and I'm going to select this which should be kept trip sheet will be this click ok so now we are left with only a threading on the top of this bottle so now what I'll do is I'll just go to curve and uh, sorry that was a mistake so I'll just go to curve and select helix here so my start point of the helix should be on the top of this uh, plane so let us keep it in the opposite direction opposite direction let us uh, keep this diameter as a 10 and uh, a lot i pitch should be 1 and the end limit should be 1.6 just a minute uh, we have to take it down a little bit so let us reduce it by 1 mm okay that is enough okay so you can see here the threading has came so now what I'll do is I'll just uh, create a plane over there, the end of the helix. Reset this. And here is a point. Click OK. And I'm going to sketch a movement on that plane. So here is the plane. So let us go to and circle and select this as 0.55. Click finish. Now what I will do is I'll just make a swept command. So let's go to surface and swept command. I'm going to sweep this circle along this uh, helix. So select this curve and my right curve should be this let us keep it as a solid and click ok so what I have to do is I have to trim the inside uh, threading so for that what I will do is I will just go to trim body and uh, select this swept the trimming surface should be this and it should be trimmed in the inside so that's it guys so now what is left is uh, we are left with the bottom portion you can see here bottom portion is not at filled so for that what I can do is uh, let us go to and sketch your environment select this plane and for trimming I am just creating this uh, plane uh, sorry line so you can take any dimension if you want I'm just extruding this. Go to extrude command, and the direction should be along this. It should be symmetric value. It's twenty is enough, I think. Okay, twenty is enough. So now what I have to do is I have to trim this sheet and uh, extra sheet. So again, I, have, I will go to the trim sheet command, surface trim sheet. So this sheet to be trimmed by using. Uh, before going to do that, I'm just going to sieve this uh, for me to trim. So sieve these, this as well as this, this sheet. This sheet. Click OK. Now these sheets are uh, <coughs> completely combined. So now I'll go to trim sheet, and this should be trimmed by using this. One or more body object do not trim.
okay now let us discard this so as you can see here uh, it is trimmed now i want to trim the extra portion bottom portion using this should be kept okay so now uh, everything is done so i'm just going to hide the sketches uh, press ctrl w for uh, show and hide comma uh, window so i'll just hide this hide close hide sketches only sheet should be on so i will now i will uh, see you everything so for that i'll just go to see you command and select any of the surface and select everything click okay now everything is saved so what we have to do is we have to give some uh, edge blends so let us go to edge blend here start giving the uh, edge blend so this it is 2 mm and uh, let us make 0.5 over here as well as here as well as here and here let us select these two as well Okay, I think color selected. Click OK. And one more thing is here also we have to give some edge blend. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to make this give some thickness to this uh, bottle. Since uh, I already explained you uh, in surface modeling. Uh, uh, for surfaces in the inner graphics, there is no thickness, it's of zero thickness. So, we'll go to surface and thicken. So, select this body and uh, let us give it's too much, give 0.5 mm, 0.5 mm is also too much. Let us give 0.2 mm. So it is giving a thickness in the outside direction. So let us give it as inside. Click. Okay. So now what I will do is I will just uh, control W show and hide command. I will hide everything and the only solid body should be shown. Now as you know that uh, this uh, thread and this body is different. So let us uh, combine them. Go to unite. And select this as well as this so that's it guys this is how we can make a bottle uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you